animal rights activist. You're just gonna toss that blood all over these fur coats, huh? Nah! Maybe the blood you've got is the same blood you've been passing off as your own. Again! I don't know what you're talking Shut up! Stacy! I know what you've done, you lying, evil bitch! Do you know who you are? Do you? You're a monster! Okay, hold on, just take a couple steps back, all right? Obviously, this is just a big misunderstanding. Is that right? Yeah, totally, really. I, I mean, I know it's weird, I'm holding a bag of blood, but it's mine. See, the truth is, is I, I'm a big wuss, and donating those stem cells was really, really hard, and I thought, what if Shane will need them again? I don't know if I'm gonna get myself to be able to go through this again. So I had the lab draw an extra bag of blood. Uh-huh, and just to keep it extra safe and secure, uh, uh, you stored it in a fur vault in a stranger's mink. Well, I was worried that if you found out, you would judge me or something. I don't know, it's stupid. Yeah, it was. But you believe me, right? No, it was stupid for you to think that I would believe anything coming out of your mouth ever again. Rex, I'm telling you the truth. This bag of blood can save Shane's life. We can talk about this on the way to the hospital. Come, We've got to go, okay? We're I'm... not going anywhere. Why? Shane isn't sick. He's still in remission. Nothing's wrong with him. We all lied to you. But... And it worked. It got you to lead me right to this. Game over, Stacy. You set me up? Why would you do that? I set you up? Uh, are, are you nuts? You have nothing to say for what you did? You screwed with our lives. My son could have died because of you, and you're just worried about getting caught? I can't believe you lied to me. You and Gigi. Shane. Michael, too. Everything we told you was a load of crap. You pretended Shane was dying just to make me look like a horrible person? When my son was dying, you blackmailed your sister about his life. You're a horrible person, Stacy. No. Uh, you're not a horrible person. You'd have to be human to be a horrible person. I, I know there can't be an answer to this question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway, Stacy. Why'd you do this? I did it out of love. For you. You did without love? How can you say that? I'd risk anything just to be with you. Even my son, your nephew. I know you have it twisted, okay? Which, I know it's my sister's fault. She, that bitch got you to Don't you ah! ever use that word about Gigi again. Okay, okay. okay you give me one good reason. Why, I shouldn't strangle the last lying breath out of you, Stacy. You talk about love. I have never hated anybody more than I hate you right now. I mean, what we have is amazing, Rex. We're meant to be together. You're just mad right now. Oh, 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 oh my God. You, you, you seriously don't get it, do you? Do you see the way I'm looking at you right now? You make me sick. You're just guilty. You feel guilty about us making love. That's it. There's something seriously wrong with you. You have no idea the hell you put me and my family through. I can be your family, okay? You're my whole world. I love you more than Gigi, more than Shane. Don't you see that? We're meant to be together. This is fate. One life to live will continue in a moment here on ABC. Did you not hear me? I said you make me want to puke. You want me, Rex. You feel something for me. I know you do. What, what we had in that moment was based on lies. No. No, you you took care of me and I, I cooked for you and we we laughed together. That was real. You told Gigi that you would let Shane die unless she ditched me. You made me think that I had lost her. You broke me down so much and got into my bed when I was at my lowest. Is that the best you can hope for? No, you're the best I can hope for. I would 
do anything. I just want you. I, knew, I thought that since the day you stood up for me when those kids were picking on me. Okay, that was a million years ago. We were teenagers. No, I dropped all my most personal things, my diary, my tampons, and there you were, the most popular guy. And you didn't care. You just picked them up and you put them in my bag for me and you just gave me the sweetest smile. I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, Stacy, but, but I don't remember anything from that day. I barely remember you from back then. Well, maybe you do somewhere. It, maybe it's just all pent up, Rex. You threw me on the floor at Ultraviolet. And you wanted me so bad. You even said it. And I know you're gonna feel you're gonna want me again. I know the truth, Rex. You don't hate me. You want me. You don't love Gigi. You love me. Look, if I not love you, I never did. No, that's a lie, Rex. You made love to me. That wasn't love. It was sex from somebody who was lying to me. Do you have any idea how much that makes me hate you? I have known some people who have done some really horrible things, but what you did, you had your sister scared to death for months with nobody to comfort her. You toyed with Shane's life, and, and, and that wasn't enough. Somehow, you dragged my mother into this, and you say it was all out of love. Rex, you took me in. You said yourself, I don't know what I would do without you, Stace. No, no, without this which I thought was yours. I thought you were saving my son's life. But what about the money you gave me to save me from Stan? Why would you do that if you didn't love me? You, he beat the hell out of you. I would have done that for anybody. You got to know me. You said you wanted to be with me. You know you did. I thought my son was dying. Do you have any idea how crazy that makes a person? Probably not. Because you have never for one second thought about anybody but yourself. It doesn't matter what I said before. I, I, I just want to make this clear. I have zero, you got it, zero love for you. Yes, all the time we spent together, I was in love with one woman and that's Gigi. No, Rex, she messed with your head. Don't you get that? If what you guys had was so strong, then why was I able to blow it apart so easy? Good, then you don't want this either. Come on, give that back to me. And why should I? There, there's no point to this. It's over. So then I lose everything. How come I always have to be the one who loses? We didn't have anything. That's a lie. What we had was wonderful. You destroyed that. Maybe I should return the favor. Stacy, this isn't about you and me. This is about Shane, your nephew. Someone else you love more than me. Yeah, and, and you love him too. And he needs that blood. It might be the only thing that can save him. He doesn't need saving, remember? You lied to me, he's fine. This checkup was good. But what if there's one that isn't? What happens then? The donor's dead. We can't find another one. All we have is that blood. We're talking about Shane's life! Yeah, it's torture, isn't it? I want something so bad. To see somebody else get it. If someone doesn't deserve as much as you do, you just kind of throw it away. Stacy, please don't do this. It hurts so bad. When you finally get something that you've always wanted, you're gonna hang on to it. You're gonna do anything you can to keep it. Wouldn't you? What do you want me to do? Make love to me again. On General Hospital. If you cheated on me with my brother, you may be having his baby. A paternity test that will affect everyone. Is Sonny the father of my baby or is it Rick? Then. Sonny's world comes crashing down. General Hospital.